In this video, I will be showing you how to open and upgrade your Asus ZenBook. This notebook comes with pre-installed soldered RAM, which means you can't actually remove it since it's onboard and permanent. But let's see if there's a slide in there where we can add another sticker RAM to expand the RAM that we already have in there. Let's start with what we actually need for this. We're gonna need a bit, a Torx T4 bit, a knife fix it kit screwdriver. We're going to need a plastic spudger to get in, and we're going to need a metal spudger to remove the pads up here. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove all of the screws that you see here with your Torx T4. So now that you've removed all of the visible screws on the sides, make sure that you always get the middle one here. But there are two secret screws that uh, aren't actually visible and they are going to be under these pads. We have to remove these pads. That is what we're gonna be using this metal spudger for. We're gonna carefully get on the side and try to lift. And then we're just gonna stick it onto the side like that. Now that we have these two screws loosened, we look back around to make sure we didn't miss a screw. And it looks like I did miss a screw. It's gonna be the one all the way up here, which is gonna be that Torx T4 again. Okay, the next step is to actually get this open. For this, we are going to look around on all the edges and see if we can find a little gap somewhere. And it looks like the gap is going to be, there's gonna be one right there. There's also going to be one right here. We're actually gonna start on the little gap that's here on the bottom right. We're gonna stick our pick in there. And we're gonna go and slowly see if the front opens up. The front does open up. And then we're gonna go and work on the sides. Let's turn this computer around. Now for you, you may have to do it from the back. It all depends on the computer that you're working on and what it actually gives you. Um, in terms of like leniency of where you can stick this on. So we're gonna go and work the sides here. Work through this side. And then there's going to be a metal clip that we have to get out off. So we're gonna give it a pretty firm pull. There we go. And we have it open. So something that I noticed with this laptop, the front are actual kind of like hooks. Um, see if we can focus it there. So for me, it easily enough came out, but if but do not force it because if you try to force these clips on the front here, then you might actually break these clips off. So you're gonna have to start from the back. All right, so now that we're in, we're gonna take a look at what we can actually do here. And it looks like the onboard RAM is truly the only RAM you can get on this. Now, there are two models. There's an eight gig and then there's a 16 gig model that I'm aware of. We got the 16 gig model for this one. You have one NVMe slot, which you can actually take out. It'll be just like that. You lift it slowly and then you remove it. There's going to be a little thermal pad on the other side. Make sure you put that onto the other drive that you put on this. And it looks like this is going to be a one-sided NVMe. So make sure that you get a one-sided NVMe. That means that all the chips are on one side because this is a very, very flat surface and you don't want to put one that's going to be forced in there. To put it back together, I recommend starting with the front part. Remember those clips that I talked about? Those should go in first. Pick it up like this. Make sure that that's flush. And then we'll work our way around the front and the sides. And we work our way around the back. Make, those, make sure all of those clips are clipped in. And then make sure that you get the middle one as well. And now we put those screws back in the way that they came out. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully it's helpful to you on how to open up your system and upgrade the NVMe. It sucks that we can't actually put any more RAM into this system but at least we have the option of doing eight gig or 16 gig versions of this notebook. Now, when you are opening it, please keep in mind to not force your way into it. For me, the front part of the laptop was actually easy to remove, but for you, it may not be, so you have to work your way around the sides or the back of the laptop, since we saw that there is actually clips on the front that should honestly be slid in. Now, luckily for us, ASOS did make sure to put many screws around the laptop, so if you break a clip, it's not a big deal. I actually found one laying on my floor after I did this video and realized one of the clips broke, but I couldn't even tell because there were so many different screws on this laptop, it actually still closed up just fine. 
Now, if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment section. I'll put in the specs for the system here down in the description so you can kind of see uh, what actually comes with it, what the OLED screen is like and all that stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.